The 60s preamp is designed to emulate the signature dense, dark sound of classic 60s preamps and consoles, making it ideal to add a vintage, old-school character and liveliness to your tracks. The auto button enables automated gain adjustment mode. When active, automatic gain mode uses the reference level set by the reference knob as a threshold for when to apply gain. If the signal level is above the reference level, the gain is automatically reduced. The gain knob adjusts the input gain from minus 30 dB to plus 30 dB when not in automatic mode. The LED bar meter indicates the approximate signal level after you've adjusted the gain. The up and down switch determines how the gain knob reacts to the reference knob when in automatic mode. In up-down mode, the gain is allowed to increase and decrease in value, whereas in down mode, the gain can only decrease in value. This control is also affected by the RMS peak setting. The RMS and peak switch determines if the automatic gain mode uses RMS levels or peak levels when detecting gain levels. When set to RMS, automatic gain mode applies a 12 dB level offset. The reference knob sets the reference level for the automated gain control mode between minus 30 and 0 dB. The left and right polarity control switches the polarity of the left, both, or right channels. When one or more of the buttons is engaged, the polarity for that channel, or both channels, is negative. In mono instances, only a single button and the polarity sign appears. The drive knob adjusts the gain for the 60s flavored analog console emulation between minus 30 and plus 30 dB. The higher the drive setting, the more analog saturation is added to the source signal. The noise mode switch determines the operating mode of the noise emulation. On turns on the noise emulation, auto automatically sets the noise level based on the source signal level, and off turns off the noise emulation. The noise knob allows you to manually adjust the level of the analog hiss emulation between minus 120 dB and minus 60 dB. The analog button allows you to activate the analog drive and noise emulations, or bypass them. For more information on PSP and Finistrip, you can head over to PSPAudioWare.com.